Well, here it is today, uh, down here in Denver, beautiful sunny day. Oh man, it's beautiful. Little breeze, uh, you know, we just have to deal with that, I guess. Uh, 101, sharpening a hawkbill knife. Um, that's an inside radius, that's a pretty cool knife. And uh, so let's see here. Hey, Brad. Yeah, I, they're, they're honking as they go by, okay? Yeah, you got about a, I don't know, probably about a two and an eighth, two and a quarter inch uh, blade there. And you got a handle, uh, you got the typical uh, karambit style, uh, and I've never watched the videos, I know that, you know, for fighting knife and stuff, and there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I do not uh, do any of that. So anyway, I'm mainly interested in the knife, the blade, the, the hawk bill, the sharpening, uh, you know, the angle, the bevel, the degree, and how to get the sharpener around there, um, you know, and sharpen that knife without any uh, effort, really, to speak of it all. So, uh, hawk bill style knife. And um, so we take the, I don't know, let's try this one here this time. This is the rectangle. It's got a reshaper for really, really dull kitchen knives. And then it's got the open face here. It's got the 90 degree corner there and 90 degree corner there. We're going to touch that 90 degree corner to the cutting edge, which is approximately 12 to 14 degrees, just like that right there. We'll come around, see if we can get, uh, I'm just going to hold still. I know that's in the shade, but let's work with it about like that. And then we're going to turn it this way. We'll also turn it like that to sharpen. So once we get set, I go all the way out and right off the point, just like this, in one pass. Don't have to resituate the sharpener or the knife. It, it's funny how it works, but it works perfectly. Go right on out. Whoops, I did something here that I don't normally do. I normally uh, cut some paper with it. Okay. That isn't too bad. There. Oop. Yeah, kind of losing it right there. Come on out. That's not too bad, but let's see if we can make it better. I, I can generally always make them better, just a little fine tuning, you know. So we go along like this, don't press too hard, let it work, don't make it work. Just like this, right on off the tip, and I am actually turning the knife and going in shorter. If I just do one pass, I can do it without changing the knife or the sharpener at all. And then I just turn it over and do the same thing here. And we just go right on around, just like that. Little touches light pressure just like that short passes right now I'm just touching the blade just kind of toying with it right now I'm just taking the wire edge off the blade polishing it lighter and lighter and lighter all right now let's see what we got I'll let you guys see so you can see if there's a, a, a very noticeable visible <laughs> Got right out to the tip. That's uh, probably pretty close. I'm not going to try to, you know, pound sand up your butt and tell you that it's a million times better, but it is better. Okay. So let's go back here to the tip. And that's really actually quite good. So that's how you sharpen an inside radius on a knife. Uh, karambit, uh, hawkbill type knife, um, it's got uh, good finger hole, well it's actually for the whole hand, I, that thing just fits in there nice, you know, and then however they use it, you can turn it around this way, and it's a fighting style knife, I prefer a 45 ACP, but you can have a knife if you want to, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, take care and have a good day.